Hello from Slide Nerd and hello from Weaves. Welcome to the second part on the list view with images. Here, you guys remember we were trying to create this list view which had titles, descriptions, and these images which you see. So, in the last video, I put the images inside the drawable folder. I put those arrays here inside my strings.xml. Here, I'm gonna get all these values inside our Java code. So, the first thing I need to do is get these arrays here inside our main activity. I'm gonna create two arrays here. I'm gonna call one of them as string maybe titles second one I'll call it string maybe descriptions so as you guys remember these are located inside our strings.xml file we can uh, the strings.xml file is here inside values folder which is inside our res we can directly get a reference to the resources in our application by calling get resources this method returns an object of type resources blah 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 error click alt enter to import this import class and we are done so now you can use this res by saying res dot get string array the first array i need to get is the titles which has this name called titles i'm going to refer this name over here by saying r dot array dot titles this is the reason why we gave a name so that we can refer to this inside java code r dot array dot titles is the name under which it is stored i'm going to assign this to maybe titles same way I'm gonna go to go to the same thing for descriptions here alright so there's only one more thing which is remaining and that is to get these images 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 right so here I'm gonna make an integer array by saying int images equals to an array now there will be 10 elements inside this images array but each element will directly have a reference to r dot drawable dot mimi one comma maybe two three four and so on so let me go ahead and complete this array all right so at this point i have defined my uh, array integer array of images that contains a reference to each of these images saying add or draw all those did this that and so on so at this point the data part has been done all right next thing we need to do is to create the appearance of a single row if you guys remember a single row looks like this we have an image view we have a text view one text view two that contains a title and the description so let's actually go ahead and make this layout for the single row for that I'll go to layout folder here create a separate layout file that contains that row I'm gonna right click I'm gonna say new layout resource file I'm gonna uh, call this file as single underscore row the root element is going to be a relative layout because that will be a lot easier to work with considering that we have three elements click OK so at this point it has nothing inside so let's actually go ahead drag an image view by just dragging it on the top left corner there you go so you cannot see the image view basically because there is no source so for now just to understand how it looks let's go to the text part here and put a source by saying src at the rate drawable maybe one so now as you guys can see we have this uh, image over here I'm gonna put a margin say 10 dp from all sides and that is gonna make it look even better so now the image view is here now I need the title to the right of this the description below that so let's go and put those text views go to the design part select the text view number one which is going to be a large text so just carefully drag and drop it to the right side of the image and the top of our parent right so there you go and again stretch it all the way to the right side of the parent same way go ahead to the next design view take the small text put it below this text view to the right side of the image and then stretch it all the way to match the width of the parent right and then drag it below to match the bottom of the image view so at this point our complete uh, structure is ready that is containing the title the description will go here and the image will go here now remember this layout at this point is not active because we have not put the required values this will be active at runtime inside our custom adapter when that ad adapter is going to put the required values inside this this and this till then this is inactive all right so in this video we have created the basic structure needed for creating a single row in the next video we are, are going to go ahead build the list view further so if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts i would love to hear from you guys thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next bit have a nice day